what is so impressive about this school that you took a decision to join your kid in this Saltai Global School? That's quite interesting because you wanted to continue the same syllabus beat in Malaysia or in India. Uh, the teachers, their qualities, their academic wise, their teaching uh, style, their teaching strategies. Hi, welcome to Yellow Slate, your very own school search engine that helps you find the best schools for your kid based on various filters and parameters. Today, we have Mr. Mohammed Ajmal and also Mr. Tanvir, whose kids are studying in the Saltai Global School, which is in Attapur. Let's speak to them and understand their perspective about the school and also understand their honest opinion and feedback for the school. So to begin with, may we understand what made you to join your kid in this school? When you first visited the campus, what was your initial thought? And uh, what is so impressive about the school that you, did, you took a decision to join your kid in this Salter Global School? If I go ahead with first and the foremost thing is the international curriculum which is providing by the school. It's offering an international curriculum where this it starts from my children who are at the early stages of learning. They are getting an opportunity to learn the Cambridge curriculum, which is we call it as an international curriculum. That is the first part first comes to my mind when I visited the campus and know about the curriculum. Thank you. Okay, my kids are right now in grade nine and grade seven. And uh, since from uh, the first standard, they are in international, uh, that means IGCSE Cambridge uh, syllabus, right? And I'm well aware about that one. And uh, previously I was in Malaysia for seven years. so. That is going to be help me a lot. After that, I switch myself here in India. So that is better if you are in an international uh, curriculum, right? That is going to be help kids. They are not going to be disturb their mind. So whatever the things they are going to be continue, they are facing the same things again here. That means they are in touch with that particular syllabus. If we are going to be switch it, it's difficult for them also, right? So that's why I look uh, look convenient and good in that particular syllabus, whether they are since from the first. They are uh, using the international syllabus, Cambridge one, and they are continuing with that one. Even I am going to be changed from Malaysia to India also. It is not going to be affect their studies. And uh, definitely they have a good future if they are going to be continuing with this one. So this is what the advantages I am looking and as for that only I am just going to be continuing with this one. Got it. Uh, that's quite interesting because you wanted to continue the same syllabus beat in Malaysia or in India. Uh, what we wanted to understand is how is the quality of teaching when compared to Malaysia? Is it any better in Saltair? And also what is your overall overall opinion about the academic excellence in Saltair Global School? Yeah, because uh, yeah, definitely if you check, uh, for Malaysia, uh, if I check there are mostly uh, they have uh, the homeschooling type of scenarios there. But here, here I got a proper schooling uh, as a solitaire global school, if you talk about that one. Definitely, I, before that, I have searched and uh, different schools over there. But uh, whatever things I have got here, like uh, the teachers, their qualities, their academic wise, their teaching uh, style, their teaching strategies, even uh, by considering the curriculum base, voting base, everything uh, we are going to be uh, I'm able to get for my kids over here. And even I asked to my kids also, they are also very happy with that one. They are enjoying their schooling actually, right? Enjoying their teaching, enjoying the schooling, all the activities, whatever we are dealing here. Everything good enough for, and they are satisfied. I'm okay with that one, right? And I can see the progress also in them. So socially, they are good. Uh, academically, they are now improving now. So that things matter actually, if you are looking as a parent point of view. So that I can find it here. That's why I'm very much satisfied with this. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, Mr. Mohammad Ajmal sir, uh, speaking about the infrastructure, because the school being within the city's limits, it is difficult to get a lot of land bank for schools to provide great infrastructure. Uh, but speaking about only the physical infrastructure, how big is the school and what do you have to say about it? Yes, if I come to the infrastructure, the school is providing the infrastructure which actually needed for the physical as well as age-wise. The school is taking care of this infrastructure as well, like uh, uh, suppose my uh, children are learning in uh, KGs, we call it as the early years. There they are saying that the, there must be 
be two gates for them and they have to come uh, and there should be in the ground floor only so that they can not find any difficulty to climbing to the first floor and and in terms of this infrastructure like they will be having a different color chase and the ambience in the class what the teachers are maintaining it is as per the international standards which making them feel that yes they are learning and they are loving to come to the classes regularly that type of infrastructure apart from the academics the infrastructure part they are loving it so when the students are very much satisfied satisfied even the parents will be satisfied and even i have seen academically progress also because they are loving to come to school regularly great and uh, one of the concerns that a lot of parents have is access with the management uh, how accessible is the management in case if you have any questions or concerns is it easy to reach out to the teachers or the management uh they have one whatsapp number on which the parents can message at any point of time any kind of information will be provided through it if suppose information related to some academics it will be assigned to the academic coordinator so within few hours i can say that the management will reply if they are not replying the other heads will be replying and passing it to the right person who are answerable for it so in my view i did not experience such things maybe a uh, few parents are facing because of they are not well of uh, well versed with the technology usage so in terms of technology and connectivity with the management and uh, in between the management and the parent it is like easy going i can say what i experienced fantastic uh, and uh, mr tanvit uh, because your kids are now in the higher standards and this is the time when they have to start picking and choosing some subjects for moving forward is there any support yeah. or guidance from the school in terms of picking the right subjects for your kid or also any thought any any sort of sessions that happened in guiding them well i tried uh, because uh, right now my daughter is there she is in grade 9 now the subject choice selection is very important for them because they are going to be next year move to the igcsc level great and uh, definitely they have to check that one and even the academic wise they check whether my uh, daughter subject is there any issues are happening even they are going to be try uh, their level best by all the way so that the, the student can understand the scenario student can understand the subject parameters and uh, they individually ask to the student teachers also ask to the students even they give us freedom to deal with our kids also right whether they are eligible they are discussing with the parents whether uh, if she my daughter is going to be select this subject is this useful for her is she is capable to do all these things what parameter whether i have to go for a core extended that all the things they are going to be discussed and depend on the uh, level of their understanding we can go for that uh, subject selection as well that good things i can found it here because uh, all kind of transparency i can see here so that that is definitely good for my uh, my daughter right uh, even we asked to our kids also whether she is okay with that one if some issues are there we have a chance to switch in that particular level as well so before starting that things they give us a chance they give some mini ways so this is good for her this is good for uh, that particular futures and all that you can select by uh, deciding with your kids so that things i can found it here and that is really nice and help us to go with a, a good scenario in futures yeah uh, we are mr santosh uh, sir can you please introduce yourself uh, so that we can take the conversation forward i am mr santosh i am the parent of uh, early years and uh, grade 4 both of my kids are really uh, so happy uh, with the uh, management uh, with the school and uh, you know uh, the teachers are really uh, you know um very uh, and uh, i would like to take uh, this privilege to uh, congratulate the management of the school uh, for its uh, you know um, endless efforts uh we are really uh you know uh, feeling proud of the teachers and uh, the whole school fantastic well all you spoke not a lot of nice things about the school but if you have to be critical and tell us where the school can still get better at what are those areas okay uh uh, uh you know uh, the betterment uh betterment is uh, you know uh, the psychology uh, where uh, Uh, every organization or every person individually uh, needs uh, you know to prove their best uh, 
uh, right now uh, for the betterment i say that uh, this school stands um, you know uh, top top in south uh, india uh, according to my knowledge uh, whereas uh, you know uh, transportations uh, you know uh, providing uh, a little more uh, uh, you know um, uh, the means of transport into this uh, you know um, uh, school school area i'm talking about the school area uh, it's uh, a little two kilometers uh, you know uh, inside the lanes um, you know uh, the school cannot do anything uh, you know uh, to clear all the uh, you know roads and provide all the facilities but uh, the local area uh, a, you know local area managers or uh, the ministers i feel so uh, must be more acknowledged uh, you know to provide uh, you know am i well, clear yeah yeah we we have understood uh, i wish school could do something about it but since it's a location that's already uh, taken and the building is built uh, there's little that the school can do but uh, however we would like to hear from uh, mr mohammed and also tanwer on where the school can still get better at yes sorry uh, i was telling that in terms of betterment i have a suggestion where the early years uh, the school can get more better when they The pro, they are providing the enough resources. Even the teachers are also skilled, but like uh, they are even having the sports, uh, sorry, supporting staff in the classes. Uh, Sometimes there is a I can say that because of the teachers and the workload, maybe some somewhere I find that, that there is a no proper workload has been given. So because of that, maybe the teachers are uh, unable to focus on the particular student. Like we can just say that it's it's individual attention. so i would uh, <coughs> personally feel that in that area school uh, in terms of early years school have to just see that uh, academically each and every individual have to be progress and now in term 3 i have seen in that also there is a progress they are now looking for the remedy one for the early years when the parents are showing the concern that is the better part yeah but it's not too late but it should be continue i mean to say that <laughs> great and anything from you mr tanvir yeah i agree with mr ajmal and just add on to that one as uh, he have mentioned this is for the early years but for the secondary if also you check uh, whatever the remedial classes they have provided at the end if it is going to be provided before that if you start from the term one that is good for the student. definitely they have provided but since from the early if it is provided that is good got it uh, well i've got great suggestions from all three of you and some of the opinions that you shared will of be great help for other parents who are looking for good schools in the same locality and on behalf of all those parents thank you all three of you for coming forward sharing your thoughts giving us your feedback for the school and giving us your valuable time in the end thank you very much mr ahmed tanvir and santosh <laughs>